Hey, what is going on guys? I figured in this video I would show you how one of the components of the tic-tac-toe game works and that being the randomizer. Now the reason I make this video is because this is probably one of the most difficult components of the tic-tac-toe game and by difficult, I, not by actually how it works or how it is um, how it's built or anything like that, it is how it was actually designed and how it became one of the components in the first place. When it comes to randomizers in Minecraft, there is actually quite a few designs out there. We have like cactus, we have everything from droppers to, um, you know, if I can come up with some examples, some people have used mobs. But uh, what I'm using is actually just a normal clock. This is every single one of the outputs. So how does a clock make it to be a randomizer? One of the things we can see here, this is number two, this is number nine, number seven, number one. They're a little bit spread out, but still it's not a randomizer. It's just make a little different. It's gonna become a pattern every, every time you make the AI make its turn. It's, it's gonna become a pattern sooner or later. So how to make it completely random is actually dependent on the user itself, the player. So we have the AI, this is the whole tic-tac-toe, the AI randomizer is just far over there. When the player makes his turn, a signal will be thrown thrown through the whole system, through the memory and everything like that. And it's gonna send a signal down to this thing which is just going to shorten the signal and depending on where the um, where in the clock the signal is only one of these are going to turn on if I throw this one on and you can see if you a little torch over there turned on and it shot a signal up first to the command block which is going to be sent directly to the display as well as the AI just so it registers it but also signal up here and down to the uh, RS normal that's shared to basically just disable these torches again so another signal is not sent but uh, then of course the AI makes its turn it's gonna take a little while it goes up to the display the display is not quick it's gonna take a little while and then the player now what makes it true random I'm not gonna to be honest I'm not gonna call it true random but I'm just gonna call it Pretty random is the is how the user actually plays the game. Like, let's have this one. The AI puts it here. Then I obviously gonna think, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna do that pretty quickly. So it's gonna be sent to the randomizer pretty quickly, and it's gonna send to another spot, and it's gonna maybe uh, put here. You know, I'm not gonna be like not always be super quick with playing my next one I might just uh, I'm gonna put it here no you know I'm gonna put it here and all of that takes time I'm gonna take time deciding I'm gonna take time flying over on the keyboard to that spot and it's gonna take time to be sent through here so the clock is just gonna keep spinning 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 you can look at it like a lottery wheel it's just gonna keep spinning and if you think about it the numbers on a lottery wheel a number one through whatever but it's gonna be in order imagine if it wasn't in order it's gonna keep spinning and you don't see the the lottery wheel at all and then you stop it at a certain point and you would call that pretty random right so that is basically how this one works you can look at it like a lottery wheel that you don't see but it's working in the background and it's making it as true to random as actually possible it just depends on the user inputs and how quickly he puts his moves down and even if you put them fast down when you start the game it's gonna be a here and to make it like and uh, when you actually do that you might put your inputs pretty quickly but then again when these are spread out it's gonna it's gonna make sure it is as far from becoming a pattern as possible so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understood as much as you possibly could. I'm not that great at explaining things, but I hope I actually made myself understood, especially with the 
the uh, lottery wheel comparison. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And uh, if you want to see more redstone videos like this, where I explain things that, like in the uh, in the redstone computer, for example. So you know, tell me that, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.